What's going on everyone? It's Trevor here for RSG and guess what we got today? We got screws, we got saws, we got bolts, we got nuts, and we got wood! Alright, so anyways, uh, what we need to do is we need to take that shifter mount I made on the side here that's holding up this piece of wood right here. That's, that's not going to cut it. We're going to need something a little more, raise that shifter up so it meets the right heights and we could put more stuff and make a platform. So if you want to find out how we're going to complete this chair and make it more for your simulator experience, well, you know what you need to do. You need to stick around. Okay, so the main issue here, as you'll see this piece down here, if we were to mount this all the way down there, I mean, the shifter is way low, but we need the shifter up kind of like here, like it would be in an actual car with an armrest. So the way we're going to do that is we are going to put another one of these angle iron bars. Uh, I said I would do that in the last one. We're going to put that on the back this time. And then we're going to put a piece of wood going across from here that's going to be like flat. That's going to be bolted into these. And then we're going to cut up the 2 by 4 and we are going to pile that on top of each other until I get the desired uh, size. I'll show you all that as we come up. So basically I've come to the conclusion that this is going to take about six inches to be about that height, to be about normal height right there. You know, that's, that's what I need. So about six inches. So we need to make that come up about that height. So it, let's, let's get right into that. Let's get cutting. Cause as you saw, I've got a handsaw and we all love to cut with a handsaw. This all depends on exactly what you want right here me I am going for a very tight space so I'm just trying to decide which way I want it if I want to be able to cut it right to there so I have as much space as possible but I think overall I end up wanting to go with this way because I need more surface space more surface space for me works better and I was still a little fit where I needed to in my tight little cramped space that I have so that's what we're doing here all right, so it's time to cut. Uh, so we're gonna have to measure, and uh, time to bring out Woodruff here, Woody. This is Woody so right now here. Now we're going to cut this so we raise the level up. Now, when you raise the level up, what we're gonna do is we only want sections, so we want as wide as this is. Um, let's see, so that's, that's a little more, that's 11 and a quarter, is that even a quarter? Yeah, 11, not even, 11 and eighth inches, 11 and one eighth inches. Very careful of your hands. Nice job, Stanley. All right. Stanley. <clears throat> we are building stuff with wood. My name is Woodruff, A-A-K-A -A -A Woody. 10 inches. Two blocks, ten inches on two blocks. Oh, perfect! I do. Up, oh. Yahtzee. Okay. This could be a saw review right now. This thing is amazing. This Walmart Stanley saw, huh? Oh, I'm not even putting effort into this.
least for one. I think I'm, yeah, you can cut it in half. Screw it, let's cut it in half. It'll work. We'll cut it in half. What I have left, I mean, so I'll tell you what I made. Okay. So we have 13 and a half left. We'll go into that. 6.7. Uh, six, 6.75. Okay. 6.75. All right, so six and three quarters would be half. Right? Yeah, six and three quarters. We did it. God, this sucks. This is so small. You really, if you have an electric saw, it'd be great. This is not the, really the way to do it. Oh man, we got this. Keep your fingers away again. It just is so small. It's like wiggle McWiggle. Right, I'll try it. I don't even know how to. Like, there's no way to exactly hold this. Ah, that fits good. Okay, maybe that's a best one. All right. that little slot is for for a two by four perfect I don't use saw hearts as much but we got it going now I think we're done with our outside extravaganza let's move it on to inside because outside's getting dark but at least it was nice out here so with our newly acquired wood where you're going to take this Okay. Now we have our two sides. Let's see, get that in the shot. Okay, so we have our two sides. Now, where are we going to want this? We want the overhang over here on this side. So, let's push this underneath as much as we can. Line all of this up. Mainly in the back, just line it up in the back. Because we are going to have our stuff there. So, now. Since I have hold angle iron, okay, I'm going to just mark the holes of Bells of Holly, fa la la la, la 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 la. And, um, oh, oh, that's deck the holes. Oh, sorry. Well, we're going to go underneath. <coughs> now the, there we are. Underneath. So you're going to line this up so it's all straight. Da, da, da. That looks good to me. Now we're going to mark that hole. Okay, then we're going to go to the farthest end. Okay, going to mark that hole. Same over here. Mark that hole and that hole. Alright, well, that shall do. A shot of do 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 do. Okay, so since it's a 5 16 bolt that I'm deciding to use, okay, so since this is a 5 6 fit 5 16 bolt that I'm going to use, I'm going to use that. Now the only reason I'm not going bigger is because I want this to be real snug. So I might just burrow it out a little bit. We'll see how you, you'll see how I'm going to do that. Just on a quick note, that back hole that is right near the armrest where it connects into the chair, you should actually be wary of that and actually move the bolt hole away from there so you can actually fit the bolt in without taking all the angle iron off.
snug. See, snug. Nice and good. So, we loosened this up. So maybe, just maybe, we could do this. Uh, let's get this on. Okay. Now you're going to need to completely undo it. Uh, a washer and a bolt short. So we'll work with that. It's not a big deal. Uh, mainly we want our supports up in the front. So, um, wow, those, hole, those, those holes got drilled way off, didn't they? Yep. Man, Trevor to the rescue. Okay, well, you know what? It might actually work out good. Um, no, actually, they do work. I'm just crazy. So, uh, son of a bitch. Well, I'm not a washer short. I guess, like, I don't really need, um, washer up there. I just need them down here. Here's where you're going to build everything up, make the platforms as you need them. I need it for a shifter, so I'm putting it six inches up. Wood is great because you can build onto it as much as you need and do as you want. And I'll show you something even cool you could do a little later as we're getting into it. But here, uh, just make sure you plan out where your screws are going to be. And if they're going to go through the bottom and you don't want them through the bottom, you're going to have to dremel them off. Uh, at least the tips and all that so you don't uh, worry about them snagging on anything and just build it up like I said I need about six inches higher on my shifter so that's basically what I'll end up doing by the end of this I found out that I need to strengthen it more right in the middle spot you'll see me take actually these blocks off right here um, right there I needed to actually strengthen the middle spot because of all the shifting we're gonna be doing back and forth so keep that in mind now uh, like I said, build it as you need. You could put holes in it. It's wood. You, if you need to replace parts, whatever. So now I have it set up so I can put my shifter there. And there we go. So now let's look at the finished product and what I use it for. So as a demonstration, let's take Woody here, and now even if you didn't have these, just keep in mind you can use wood and build onto it. And what you would do is make a platform. Now you can actually have a joystick there instead. Or maybe you know you want to do two joysticks. Well, you know you could double the size of this angle iron and make the exact same thing on the other side, depending on how much room you have to work with. Look what coolness you could do. All right, so it's finished. Why did I make this? You're sitting there wondering, like, why would you go through all this? Well, as a streamer, your microphone and everything is up on your desk. For one, putting stuff up on your desk will make a lot of noises, as well as it doesn't feel natural. 
This is basically right where a shifter would be, so that seems good. This is a little farther back than I'd want it, but because of the design of the G27 shifter, you kind of got to do a little differently. But the the Thrustmaster here is a lot more versatile in being able to move it all around and manipulate it. Uh, and I don't think I'm going to keep the button box here. There was just to kind of more filler. I might just take this away and put a cup holder or something right there. Cut, you know, take one of those, you know, uh, door handle, door knob kind of cutters and figure what they're called and just make a nice cup holder there and you could sit a cup in there. Uh, or maybe you could drill a cup holder into it and who knows. But there's a lot you could do with this. This is why I love working with wood. You could sand it down, you could paint it, you could do tons of stuff. Me, I just needed it to serve my purpose. So this is probably all that's going to stay. And it dang sure does. It's nice and sturdy. I can shift. I can do everything I need to without a problem. Uh, I don't normally use my G27 for shifting. I use it as like uh, a high-low kind of for my truck sim. My shifting all gets done with this. But this is feeling great. You get to put your arm right on the armrest. It all comes with you. If you lean back, it leans back. It's perfect. It's great to go. I think you should make it if you're having the same issue I am where you're cramped on space and you can't spend hundreds of dollars on those big racing setups. And now, if you look at my original video with my G27 or with my original wheel stand, you can see the sawhorse that I use in that. I'm actually still using that sawhorse. Believe it or not, I'm going to probably just put the wheel and this right on the sawhorse because the space it takes is very small and it does exactly what you need it to. So you can always use that for a quick little wheel stand. It's real cheap too. They're like $18 in Home Depot. But anyways, I think this wraps it all up here. I think I've shown you everything you need to do. Why don't you comment down below if you have anything you'd like to add or maybe send me some pics on Twitter. I'd like to see some, some of the stuff that you guys all build because, hey, I love to see what people can build. Do-it-yourself is fun. We all know that do-it-yourself is fun because it's an accomplishment once you do it and it works. So, thanks all for watching. If you like, if you like the video, hit like. If you dislike it, you know, you can hit that dislike, but please throw in the comments why you didn't like it. Um, but we know that's not going to happen anyways. And make sure you hit subscribe if you like my videos. And if you're going to keep watching these videos and you're enjoying watching me, well, you know what? I'll see you next time.